welcome to Drums and Tunes. I'm Rob. And I'm Doug. And today we're doing a sounds like... Neil Pert. On this beautiful... On a beautiful, massive, golden black drum kit. Yeah. So this is an Atal Maple, and it, it sounds is. great. It does sound great. I really enjoy playing it, in fact. Yeah. Um, um, so we've gone full, full 80s. We've got the Roto Power Toms, two bass drums with subwoofers. I mean, we've gong drum. Yeah, subwoofers, essential. You know, gong drum, essential. Octoban esque type things, essential. Yeah, yeah. Three essential, basically. Three Everything snare drums. Essential. Yeah, three snare drums. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven symbols. Twelve symbols. And a mount. So, yeah. we have sort of taken a combination of lots of his setups. Obviously, he played for Rush for what? So, he something gears the whole time they existed no yes. oh was it not no there was another drummer before oh really yeah okay i hold my hands up i did not know that um but he had big double bass drum rigs in the 80s he's yeah. had the full 360 kit with, with the, the electronics, electronics so. and the mallet cat thing and all the yeah yeah so we've sort of been inspired by multiple of his setups and hopefully just doug has got some nice sound for you yeah So this particular kit was the NAM 2020 display kit and we're lucky enough that Natal are an English based company so it got flown back from California and was slightly delayed because of Covid but it's here. It's here in our room. Yes. I have to say I love the Marshall-esque grill on the front of the uh, sub. Yeah so sub you office. can't tell necessarily but this is textured and it is Marshall grill and it's got like the old Marshall logo for the Natal. Now they've got like a script logo. But there is in fact a head there, a head there, a head there, and a head there. So you have four heads. Four heads per bass drum, eight heads in total. So it's inspired by Marshall Colours, but it is a special order. You could order this setup if you didn't want to buy it from us. This setup is possible with, uh, what have we got? Three up, two down, without even three snares, full rotor toms, two bass drums, yeah, two sub kicks, essential, gong drum. Essential, and all the cymbals as well are available at Anderson's right now. Yeah, so yeah. what have we got? Various Sabians, but start off, we've got his signature Paragons, haven't we? So. Yeah, we've got the hats, we've got a couple of the chinas. We've got one with the jingles in it, one of the Paragon chinas with jingles and rivets. Yeah, um, and you've actually done that to other chinas, haven't you, in your personal I have. collection? I've got so. a few that over the years have broken and I've had them repaired and had bits added to them. Um, and they sound great. Um, also, the thing that I love most was this 22-inch crash, Paragon crash but we used it as a ride and it had, actually sounds like a ride had a nice well. spell on it yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and then yeah I think we've got some HHX and stuff over there we sprinkled with splashes yeah. oh, oh and the bell obviously of course the, the essential yeah, yeah. Um, and but yeah what, man what have we got over here an extreme isn't it yeah 16 extreme beautiful all, all Sabian he's a Sabian artist for most of his career I don't know early yeah. early days of Zildjian but yeah for the latter part of his career was all Sabian, so we just dressed this drum kit in some lovely Sabians to bash.
So, sizes of this drum kit. We have, starting with the bass drums, 224 by 14 bass drums with 224 by 8 subwoofers. Then toms, we got 8, 7, 10, 7, 12, 7, 14, 12 floor, 16, 14 floor, 20 by 14 gong drum, I believe. It's also a true gong drum because it, it has a 22 inch head stretched over it. So it's ah, got extra wide ah, love nuts. Okay. Rather than just being a bass drum, it's an actual gong drum. Beautiful. Then and we've got then snares. Snares, we've got over in the corner, there's a cool on legs floor tom snare drum thing, 14 by 12, I believe that is, or 14 by 10, maybe. That's like a duo snare, and we only hit it with the wires on, didn't we? So we I didn't actually so, yeah, use yeah. it as a floor tom, but you can. Um, and then you've got a 10 by 6 sort of popcorn snare, and then a 14 by 8 main snare. And then the coolest bit of the whole kit, of course, the, <laughs> the 8, so I think it's 8 by 10, 8 by 12, 8 by 14, 8 by 16, is that right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. And what heads have we used on it? So heads on the main kit is all coated G2 Evans. Nice. And then we've got some EMADs. So on the two oh, bass yeah, drums, bass. Yeah. having two bass drums, especially with sub kicks, makes it a bit harder to tune. So there are two definite camps. Tune one higher than the other, so one foot is distinctively different, or try and tune them as a pair. Either way, can be a bit tricky. Um, as soon as you put a sub kick in front of it, you have to tune it as if the sub kick wasn't there. But remember, it, it is or it will be there. It will go there, yeah, yeah. Um, because there's lots of heads and there's lots of air you are moving. Tuning and remembering that they are there is good fun. Gong drum, they're also tricky to tune. But if it's a proper gong drum, get a really thin head. So that is, in fact, an Evans EMAD. And we've taken all the foam hoops out and everything. But really, you want a super thin one ply head because um, you are effectively playing a bass drum but with a stick mm -hmm. so you have to remember that um, we purposely went coated because we wanted that sort of warm but sort of old school sound as well so yeah obviously his, his career has spanned many a decade so we went old sort of old tuning and old setup with two bass drums um, <laughs> part two of this kit tuning issues is when you because these are all eights and the first rack tom is an eight making the blend from one eight to the other eight was yeah. was far, fun for the tuning wasn't it it was indeed but um, we got there i think it sounds great man yeah yeah it does sound really cool and love it or hate it it could be a bit of a marmite kit for for looks i think it's quite cool actually it's lovely yeah, it, yeah. i think it looked nicer here than it did at NAM. At NAM it was on like a stadium with really bright lights and the gold looked more yellow. It looks a nice contrast here and the sparkles look better. I do like the fact that the Octoban are solid, solid alternating colours as well. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, and also the rack toms have two stripes. So it doesn't matter which way you're facing, you can get the stripe on the mount with the badge. So oh, yes. it's, Beautiful. It's cool, it's different and it's super cool and yeah. Love it or hate it is a cool kit and it sounded great. Your lovely hands made it sound amazing. Well, I did my best. I mean, uh, quite a uh, name to live up to, but... Uh... Big shoes to <laughs> fill, yeah. But this is uh, part of the fun. Yeah, man. Maybe like Doug's playing and our interpretation of Neil Pert on this lovely Natal kit. Beautiful. I did my best. Go easy on me. Go easy on me. Um, if you do like the sounds like, comment because we do read. This was one of the most asked for. So we do read the comments and we will slowly catch up with all the names that you recommend and ask for. Yeah. Um, Looking forward to the next time. Yeah. We can't get much bigger in this room. So I think you basically asked for this kit just to see if we could get one big enough because Terry Bozio keeps coming up as well. So. Well, we could give it a go, but uh, yeah, I might need a bit more time to work on some of that. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Doug. 
I've been Rob, and if you like these videos, like, subscribe, comment.